What's going on everybody? It's Rocco with Rocco's Modern Survival back again. Today we are going to be doing a worm bin or a worm farm, however you want to put it. Uh, we're going to learn how to set up a worm farm, how to feed a worm farm, and how to drain a worm farm. All the basic necessities that you need to know on raising worms. And the reason that you're going to raise worms or that you want to raise worms is one, for a cheap but very sustainable uh, feed for your animals all right you uh, you can get a lot of feed for your chickens for your quail for your fish for your crawdads whatever you want to raise on your farm worms will help with that all right and in another video we're going to learn how to um, uh, mealworms we're going to learn how to raise mealworms it won't be in this video but it will be in one coming up all right so let's get into this one and we're going to learn what you need to Put the worms inside, basically. You can put them inside anything, from a bucket to a tote to um, a trash can to a, a bin. Whatever you have, you can put them in it, as long as you have the sustainability form, the housing form, which is the dirt. All right, and they also sell worm farm or worm bin substances at um, Dunham's, which is a, a sporting goods store. Um, a lot of uh, Wilcabellos and uh, Bass Pro Shops and stuff like that, they sell a worm bed or worm bedding. And all you need for that is basically just a gallon of water. You can also raise um, sea, I'm trying to think of this, sea worms, I guess that's how you're going to say it, like red worms and stuff like that. Uh, you can raise those inside those kind of uh, materials as well. You just have to add, add salt water to them. But you want to read the instructions on those on how, exactly how to do it. All right, so let's get into this build because I'm, I'm going to do a simple and easy build for you all right something that just anyone can do and it's just inside of a bucket all right so let's get into this build and have some fun and hope you learn something all right okay everybody this is the build this is what we're wor working with okay i have an old tidy cat try uh not, not a trash can i use this for uh fishing whenever uh whenever i whenever i was going fishing all the time and i can always just get another one of these if i need to be because they're, they're everywhere See, I had a little hole up here for the air bubbles. I had an uh, air hose I put through there, kept them alive. But I was working yesterday, and I was uh, trying to dig out my garage because you know, the house I'm working on. And as you can see, you can, you're probably looking at some of the trash on the porch right now. Um, we're actually at our house or my house, um, and we're we're uh, this is the uh, the house we're, we're we're remodeling right now. So it's a little cold out here. Sorry for the stuttering, but. This is the bucket that I started using yesterday because I was, as I was digging my garage out, I found a ton of big old night crawlers. So I was like, you know what? Those suckers are going to go awesome in my worm farm. So I started picking them up and everything, and I started putting them in this bucket. And then I added the dirt that they were already in into this bucket because I knew it was good, rich soil. You're going to need good, rich soil for these guys because whatever they're in is already rich and clean. All right. So you, if they're in, if they're in that soil, use that soil if you're able to. All right. So what I did was I started putting them in here and then, there we go. Um, the dirt looks a little wet right now because it is, because it was raining. Um, I have not had a chance yet to, and you can see the moisture right here that it's been gathering up, but I haven't had a chance to put holes in it yet because I wanted to show you guys where to put the holes at and everything. So let's get into the uh, hole build or the hole drill, or the drilling the holes, however you want to put it. Um, and so y'all can see exactly how the water in this needs to drain because they like wet soil, but they don't like saturated soil, all right? It makes it a little harder for them to, uh, to do their stuff, all right? And anything that comes out of here can be uh, worm juice, as they say, and it's so good for your garden. It's like, it's like crack for your garden, all right? So we're gonna flip this sucker over and we're going to um, basically drill the holes in the bottom of it so you can see exactly where, how it's gonna drain, all right? And you can put this stuff inside of a, um, I'm gonna flip, flip you back around here. There we go. You can put this stuff um, on a double layer system or even a triple layer system so you can catch the worm juice and then you can add, let the guys crawl up as they want to. You can add a little bit more dirt to the, the top one and they can just crawl up So as that one fills up. Or you can just you know dump this one out, put new in, however you wanna do it. Uh, the biggest thing is just do it to where it's easy for you, all right? Less lifting, uh, less work. That's what you want, all right? Because you're busy doing all this other stuff on your farm. You want to make sure that you have enough time to do everything that you need to do. All right, so let's get into the drill 
part of this or the drilling part of this now and uh, put all the holes where they're supposed to go. Now, yes, I'm going to flip the um, bucket upside down, but no, it will not tip or it will not dip because of the way that this lid is. All right. So I'm going to uh, position you guys. Boop. Just like that. I'm hoping that you can see this. So we are, go I, t I got a seven sixty-fourth drill bit. All right. And yes, I'm using a rigid, all right? No, not sponsored. I just really like their tools. Um, I think they got some of the best tools out there. So you just go along, putting in holes wherever you can, wherever you think that it's gonna uh, leak out of the best. And you want to make them small enough to where the worms aren't going to crawl out of them. That's the biggest thing. If you put big, big, the bigger holes in here, the more likely a chance the worms are going to crawl out. And you do not want, and you do not want that. Sorry, because if you lose all your worms, then you've lost all your product. And that is it right there, guys. That's all you got to do. A few simple holes in this thing will allow the mud to drain out or the dirt to drain out, the worm juice to drain out. And like I said, if you want to put a system underneath of this to catch your worm juice, I, I suggest you do it. All right. Because it's it, worm juice. Like I said, it's, it's liquid crack for your garden. All right. So we're going to flip this back over so the worms can get adjusted again. And I know you really shouldn't do that to the, your worms. You kind of jostle them up a little bit. I've seen if anything kind of came up to the top here, but I ain't seeing anything. We'll dig through here a little bit, see if I can pull some of these guys out for you. Because, I mean, I got some monsters in here yesterday. See, here's one. He's not a monster, but as thick as he is, he'll, he'll, he'll become a monster. I had one yesterday. That sucker was so darn big. I was like, holy cow, I thought it was a snake at first. Because sometimes some of the night crawlers around here, they get this so big. See? Nice, nice fish food right there. And he looks like he's pooping right now. He's making that worm juice for me. All right, you see that? Yeah, right there. And he just pooped in my hand. He just pooped in my hand right there. But he's making all that liquid gold I want. So yeah, all these guys, all they're gonna do is they're gonna eat and poop. That's it. That's all worms do: are eat and poop. All right, I was, man, I was really looking for that big one I had yesterday. We'll put him back down there, kind of cover him back up. But that's it, guys. That's what you want to yeah. do. Um, Here soon, I will give you a tour of the farm, uh, where everything is going to be at. But right now, we're we're still trying. I just dug a. I'm still trying to get the grass grown for the water line that we had to dig out. You can see the sand pile behind me. Um, my my muddy driveway. We had to dig it out and stuff like that, and then we got to regravel it and stuff. My porch is going to be. My porch is actually going to be out to right here where I'm standing at. So you're on the porch right now, so I'm gonna come out about another five feet with the porch So I mean it's a lot of work to be done. I'm still working on the inside right now My garden down there is looking like a shamble because well, like I said, I just bought this house and it's got a perfect spot for a garden But I need to clean it out But I hope you guys learned something from this um, If you if you if you have leave it in the comments below uh, I love to hear from all my viewers. All right all my subscribers all six of you right now uh, leave your comments in, in the descriptions below. Uh, I would be more than happy, or the comments below, sorry, not the description. But in the descriptions below, if we're going to get to that, um, is a link to my other channel, Rocco's Gaming. So, yeah, and Rocco Jr. will be a description, a link in the description for his uh, game, for his sporting uh, channel. He is going to be doing a lot of kayaking, a lot of baseball, stuff like that. Right now, baseball is canceled because of the, uh, the outbreak or whatever. It, I, I don't want to get into how stupid this is, but yeah, you, you, you if 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 you if you're anything like me, you know exactly how stupid it is. So yeah, but yes, um, I hope you learned something from this. Oh, and the the biggest thing is the feeding of your uh, worms. I feed my worms about once a week. All right, I do have another worm farm or another worm bin at my other house, which is my parents' house. Um, I feed them cricket meal, and I get that from the from the lo local pet store. It's just grind up cricket dust. It's basically what it is. All right. Just, um, I'll, I'll actually leave a, 
I'll leave a picture of it right here. Okay, yeah. So you saw the picture of the worm, the cricket meal. This, this is the stuff I use to feed my uh, worms. It's, it's high in protein, all right? They love it. You sprinkle a little bit on top, and they'll, they'll eat it as they go, all right? Um, I feed them like once a week, all right? So that's basically it. Worms are one of the easiest things to take care of, all right? And they reproduce like crazy. They got, you got to make sure they're in a warm temperature, though, all right? Because if you want them to breed, they got to be warm, just like everything. I like to breed whenever I'm warm. Uh, <laughs> but... Yeah, fish are the same way. Most tilapias and stuff like that, their temperatures have to be at a certain level. Uh, crawfish, same way. Quails, they breed no matter what. Uh, they, they, yeah. And rabbits, they're the same way. They'll breed no matter what. But uh, we're going to get into a rabbit build here soon of a, a rabbit cage. Now, the one I'm making should fit about four rabbits, be two males, two females. Um, if my dimensions are pro if my dimensions are correct, which I'm pretty sure they are, uh, I've been working on this rabbit cage for a while. I just had to stop on it because we started working on the house hardcore, but that's gonna be coming up here soon too. So we're gonna be doing for future videos, for future reference, we're going to be doing a millworm uh, bin build. There we go, wor millworm bin build, and you can do those in just about anything. They're so freaking easy to take care of. Uh, we're gonna be doing a rabbit cage build. We're gonna be doing a quail cage build. Uh, a tour of the farm will be coming up here soon. So we got like, what, four good videos coming up here real soon. And don't forget, we're going to be doing catch and cooks on this channel. Uh, hopefully next weekend, we're going to be doing a catch and cook. All right. So hopefully next Monday or Tuesday, that video will be up. Um, what? What? Yeah. Yeah. Yay. We're doing catch and cooks. I, you know we're doing catch and cooks. I didn't know Monday. No, I said Monday the video will be up. Sorry, guys. Um, so, yeah, hopefully next Monday, the video will be up for the Catch and Cooks. We're going to go on Sunday, because Sunday is the time that I don't work. Um, it's the time that I go, we go to church, and then after church, we go do what we want to do. So, today, we actually brought the propane tank for the new grill that I bought. It's a little Peak One grill. Um, actually, give me one second, and I'll go get it for you. All right, everybody. So, um... This is the Peak One uh, Camping Survival Grill, however you want to put it, all right? Now, uh, what it does is it folds back into itself just like this, all right? And remember, none of this stuff is sponsored. It's the stuff that just I use, all right? So what you do is you just fold it out. It, it clicks by itself, all right? Don't force it open anymore. Your flame adjuster is right here, all right? Turn it up, turn it down, all right? Now, it goes only with the Coleman butane propane mix all right you can only use the butane propane mix with this one right here because of the way that it's designed it has to have that lip on it if you want to use a regular propane or regular homing uh propane tank the big green ones you have to get an attachment all right the attachments are um i enunciated that word really hard <laughs> sorry the attachments are sold on amazon uh you can just look up peak one uh, propane attachments or Coleman propane attachments and they'll be right there. They're just about that big um, And what it does it just hooks onto right here so you can hook it on to the regular propane tanks But I like these they work real well. Um, these are going to be featured in all the videos yet again Remember nothing sponsored. I just this is just what I use. All right, so I hope all that was some inner Was some good information for you. Sorry. It's really cold out here. Um so like always, God bless, have a wonderful day, come back for more, and I'll see you in the next video.